How's it going guys? Carter Sirach with Greenline Media here and today I'm going to show you how to build a website in just 10 minutes. We're going to be using a simple drag and drop builder and this is so easy that my grandmother could do it to be honest with you guys. You don't have to be a techie, you don't have to have ever built a website before. I'm going to show you everything you need to know in 10 minutes and then you can build the website of your dreams. So let's get right into it. Okay, so before we start, you have to click the link below this video. So scroll down to the description and click this link. It'll bring you to this page on my website. All you have to do is scroll down and click get hosting. If you plan on having multiple websites in the future, I recommend getting the grow big plan. If not, you can stick with the startup plan. This is just for one website, but it'll work just fine for this tutorial. And that's what I'm gonna go with. And now comes the fun part. You're gonna choose a domain name. And this is just the name of your website. It's how people are going to find your website. I recommend choosing something short, something catchy, something that will um, you know, stick in people's minds. And I also recommend using a .com if possible, if it's available for your domain, because these tend to rank higher in Google. I'm just gonna name my website, websiteinten10minutes.com. Then click proceed. Next, fill out your account information and your payment information. Anytime that you type in a new password throughout this process, just make sure that you're either writing it down or it's a password that you can remember. You may need them again later in this video. So I'm just gonna fill out my information. Under the hosting services tab, you'll see that we are on the startup plan. Uh, data center is USA. For myself, I'm just gonna go with the one month trial, but if you wanna get a bigger discount, you can go for either the 12 month, 24 month, or the 36 month. Under extra services, you can choose to add domain privacy. I wouldn't recommend adding the SG site scanner, not 100% necessary. Uh, domain privacy might be a little bit more necessary if you just want your personal information to stay private on your website. This is basically so when somebody looks up your domain, they can't tell who owns the domain. When you're ready, just hit the confirm that you've read and you agree to the terms and then hit pay now. When you see this page, just click proceed to customer area. It's gonna load up your customer area and then you're just gonna click set up site. Under start new website, click select, then select WordPress. And again, guys, remember to write down these passwords and these email addresses that you use for these different accounts because you will need this one in a little bit. So enter an email and password, then click continue. It's gonna ask you about the site scanner and the privacy again. You don't have to add these. You can simply hit finish when you're done. It'll take about two minutes to create your site and then it'll say you're all set. At this point, your website is going to start what's called propagation. Now propagation is basically when your website hasn't been sent to all the servers yet around the world, so people won't be able to view it from around the world. But not to worry, this is only a 20 minute process, so take a quick 20 minute break, walk the dog, grab some water or something like that, pause this video and come back in 20 minutes and your website should be ready to go. At this point, your website should be ready if you've waited around 20 minutes or so. Uh, so go up to your address bar and enter your domain name that you've just chosen for your website. Now by default, this is what your WordPress website will look like. If you want to edit it, you can go into the back end. So just add to the end of your web address, wp-admin, and hit enter. Now this will bring you to your login screen, and this is where that email and password that you just created for your WordPress account will come in handy. So enter your email, enter your password, and then just hit login. If it prompts you with the SiteGround screen, just hit exit, and then you'll see your WordPress dashboard. Now this is the back end of your WordPress website, and this is where it gets exciting because this is where you can start editing your website and making it custom to you. Start by scrolling down to the bottom of the page and clicking switch to default. You can just dismiss and hide any of these tabs. All they're going to really do is confuse you, so I like to just hide these. It makes it a lot easier and a lot less confusing. Now, once those tabs are hidden, head over to Appearance and click Themes. The theme is basically the look and feel of your website. There are some paid themes and there are some free themes. I'm going to show you a great free theme that you can use to get your website rolling. So once you're on this page, you're just gonna click Add New. 
and you're gonna go over to the search bar on the right side and type in A-S-T-R-A and hit enter. And now you can click on Astra, click install. And then hit activate. Now we're gonna add some functionality to this theme and install the builder plugin so that you can actually build this in a visual process. Head over to plugins and click add new. In the search bar, type in Astra. And you're just gonna click on this plugin right here. Click install now. And then activate. Next, head back to the left of your screen, hover over appearance, and click starter templates. Now you can choose your page builder. I highly recommend Elementor. That's the one I'm going to be using in this tutorial. Now all of these are essentially templates that you can start your website on. You wanna find one that doesn't have the little agency indicator up on the right corner of it because I believe these are paid themes. But if you want a basic one that you can start with that's beautiful and it works really well, I just recommend Mountain. That's the one I'm going to choose today. After clicking on Mountain, you can just hit Import Complete Site. Make sure all of these are checked. And then hit Import. And when it's done, you're just gonna click view site. Now this is your website essentially, and this is what it looks like now out of the box. Uh, we're going to make some changes to this. All you have to do is click edit with Elementor at the top. Once it loads up, you can click on pretty much any element on the screen, like let's say this text here, and you can change the text in a visual way. So. I'm just gonna change the title here. 10 minute website. And I'm gonna change the subtext. And if you wanna change a button, simply click on it. You can add a link here for where the button goes and then you can change the text as well. Now this background is beautiful, but let's say we wanted to change the background. Just hover over the background and click these six dots. Hit got it. And then click style. Hover over the image and click choose image. Next, if you can't find an image that you want in here, you can go to unsplash.com and search any sort of keyword to find an image that you can use 100% free without worrying about copyright issues or anything like that. Just head over to Unsplash and download an image and then you can just drag and drop it in. Now, I don't really like the way that this looks particularly, so I'm just gonna change the image back to one of these mountain photos. But that's essentially how you would do it. You can go find an image on Unsplash and upload it for yourself. When you're done making changes, just click the green update button in the bottom left corner. This is great for customizing your pages, but let's say you wanted to customize your menu or the footer or the logo at the top of your screen. There's a different place where you can do this. So all you have to do to access those is click the three lines in the upper left corner, click view page, and this will bring you to your full website with the menus and all that. Just click customize. And then anything that you hover over with this blue icon here, you can click on that blue icon and you can change these things here. So let's say you wanted to change the logo. I'm just gonna change it to what it already is. Skip the cropping and then wait a moment for it to update. And there it is. When you're done making changes here, click the publish button, wait for it to load, and then hit the X in the top left corner. Now, this is great. We have all of these pages that we can edit, but let's say you wanted to create your own custom page. Well, this is super easy. Just click my WordPress and then click dashboard. Then click pages. Add new. 
close this box, and then you can give your page a name, and then just hit publish, and then hit publish again. Once it updates, you can hit edit with Elementor, and boom, it takes us right back to the visual builder where you can start building your page. So I'm just going to click this plus button here and you can select what structure you want for this page or for this section. So I'm just gonna do a two column section and then I'm going to click the plus button and you can add different elements by dragging and dropping. So I'm gonna add a heading and I'm just gonna change it. And then again, hit update. Now let's head back to the back end again of the dashboard. Click appearance, menus, under the Pages tab, switch it to View All. You'll see your page, you can check it and hit Add to Menu. And then you can change the order of your page as well. Hit Save Menu, then head back to your website and you'll see that we now have our new page in the menu and it has our text right there. My name is Carter Sirach with Greenline Media. This is how to create a website in 10 minutes. Remember, just scroll down Click the link in the description to get started and you'll have your website rolling in no time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just hit the like button and subscribe if you did to let me know so that I can make more videos just like this. We'll see you guys in the next one.